First off tonight, a murder victim already buried in Fort Worth is going to be dug up in a search more, for more evidence in his death. Pretty unusual move. It is connected to a killing from September. As Jason Allen discovered today, prosecutors believe that there may be evidence that was buried with the body. More than two months after 19 year old Alfredo Olivares Jr. was buried in Fort Worth, a judge has agreed to let the county medical examiner's office disinter his remains. There may be evidence, says a court motion, specifically a fired projectile that remains in the body. They must really need this evidence to make their case and get a conviction. Defense attorney and former prosecutor Messina Madsen, who is not involved with the case, called it incredibly unusual and indicates the importance of what might be found. Oliveris was shot outside his home in September. Peter Cardona was charged with murder. Dr. Mark Krause in the county medical examiner's office documented one gunshot wound on the body and collected one projectile during the examination. But when the medical examiner reviewed the report, he noted hospital records and images showed two projectiles in the body and a second wound police, paramedics and doctors reported as a gunshot, the autopsy report called a surgical stab. Legal experts told us mistakes happen, but depending on how it's handled, this could also prompt questions in other cases. Where you find that these mistakes become scandals is if the forensic scientist tries to cover up is less than honest, is defensive about anybody questioning their work. If any of those things happen, then it, it really does challenge the integrity of that forensic science evidence. And that person will face questions and be challenged on it for the rest of their career. In the short term, for this case, Madsen told us this move is not one prosecutors made lightly and that it may show the evidence they already have isn't enough. We asked the district attorney's office, the county medical examiner's office, people at Oliveris' home about the disinterment. They all said no comment. It's the medical examiner's office that will actually exhume the body, but it's not clear when that will happen. In Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.